Thank, hello, thank you, welcome. Um, this is uh, part three of the Dead Space Let's Play. And let's see, quick, we'll be on our inventory. Yeah, and that should be more than enough for this next area. <clears throat> it's also been acting up a little bit, so just gonna play around with it. Don't forget to use your kinesis right there so you can pick up extra power node. And then up ahead, we're gonna be running into a. I guess our first boss fight. And this one is very important. Just to make it a little bit easier on yourself, make sure that when you go around here, that you pick up all the extra items ahead of time. Because once you go past that pillar right there, the boss battle is going to start. And let's see. Yeah, I didn't do this the first time around, and I was in huge trouble. So I'll start to run out of ammo at this point. Yeah, I think there's one, two more boxes over here. And yes, one. Now with this boss right here, we're gonna clean up. The first real thing to do to beat him is to take off one of his legs. And then after that, you can either go for the monster's tongue, or if you want, you can take out the other leg. Ah. back and forth, taking little pot shots as necessary. Don't try to move around too much because you'll end up hurting you in the end because this sucker can bounce around. And uh let's see. Uh, try and get him back in the clear view. Get it. there we go. There you go, it's a little bit easier at this point. Be careful because, yeah, his tongue is pretty annoying. Mm -hmm. Try and get him around this pillar so he can't move that fast. And with this fight, I love to use the stages. Especially because you get a free reach from right there. And I'm aiming for his tongue this time around. That he he'll just stop moving. He actually you know, does an extra little lunge when you kill him. So if you you know, watch out for that the first time around, you can avoid getting hit. See, right there. Data, I'm out of the hospital. Okay, the tram station is just beyond the apartment block. Hang on, I need more answers. How long have I been here? Three years. Tideman found you floating in space near Aegis 7, and brought you here for study. Why can't I remember anything? The marker you found imprinted your brain with a self-replicating signal. The longer you're awake, the more the signal spreads. It's killing you, Isaac. Tideman tried to keep it in check with memory suppressants. You said you could fix it, right? Only if you reach me in time. Tram station, get moving. So there we go, new objective added and such. I was trying to find out of those huge chunks. You can just kick around if he's just playing a game of tick ball. Yeah, and you know, at this part, you don't gotta really worry about necromorphs. And here you're just gonna pick up some extra cash. And check right here on the staircase. 3,000 credits. Now, 
This part, I I still hate this to this day. I'm not sure anybody who going through all this could feel unsafe going into an event that these monsters are constantly popping out. But I guess you do what you gotta do to survive. Sorry, I'm feeling a little gassy and trying not to burp. And there we go. Chapter 2 is on the way. Let's see, quick. Mm -hmm. Gold semiconductor. It's a good 3000. Let's see. Put away that extra ammo since I got a full pack. And nothing else really worth buying. Still got a good amount of storage. So yeah, that's all you really need. And hit the bench. Okay, I think I have enough to get me a, a free house upgrade. Yep. Also, uh, quick, in case you never played the first Dead Space, notice how you see my health already in the yellow more than halfway down. Now, if you are going to go right here for the workbench, the best thing to do it, or the best time to do it, is right here, I'm gonna get myself a hit point upgrade, so I have a little bit more HP. And now, again, just to show you guys, like you're gonna see it fill up right here. Best trick to heal yourself without having to waste med packs. And let's see. Yeah, might as well start upgrading this gun. This is gonna be your all-purpose gun you're gonna use for probably the rest of the game. Unless you wanna make it a little bit harder on yourself. Let's see, capacity, damage, reload. We're gonna go on dispatch just so we can get this reload at least. And that's all we can do for right now. Spend them all at this point in the game, don't worry, because coming up here, you'll have another chance to uh, get another power move. Also, uh, again, this part be very careful. Keep walking, you can let get killed, and then... Also, stay here too long, and you will start getting ambushed by more. Essentially, it except for a little power node over over right here. Now you can see some people in the distance. Now, more so than the other game, it's just a wise thing to get the. Especially early on. Alright, let's see what this one's got for us. Let's see, uh, Tech Sog, Ruby Semiconductor, let's see, more uh, plasma rounds, a schematic, more plasma, and let's see, I guess I have to take a look. 
That seems like a good plan to go to fight. When it comes to this stuff, I like to make sure that I have a huge amount inside my actual little bank inside the stops. Because later on, believe me, you know, you're putting this ammo all aside now, it's gonna pay off in the long run. Let's see, schematic for power node downloaded. Sweet. Let's see, Ruby Semiconductor 10,000. Who's uh, just gonna move this all sign? Don't need that many. Put another one of those, and I'll try and get to that one later on. So I'll just keep that there. And the extra round of three. Attention, this is Director Cody. Oh, oh. Sorry about that. But anyway, as we continue to here, I believe we may get one or two more ambushes up here. It all depends because the last time I played this game, I heard it was There he is. Just dump the sucker out and save yourself some rounds. Let's see. A little cutscene's gonna happen here, but I'm not sure if it's gonna be nice, but here I'll stop and let you see it. So bad for that guy. And yeah, oh, I see it. Real one. The Haber Strokes can make us forget. But it's all coming. I don't know what you're talking about. Why are you calling me? Isaac! Isaac, look out! These suckers are so much stronger than they were in the other game. It's freaking ridiculous when these things attack you. Make sure you do a little bit more scarce on ammo. We're gonna bring this here and uh on. crap. Oh don't tell me you got stuck in the Shindry. There we go. Should be able to use this. Okay, we'll save two rounds. And I think we just took care of that lady's, uh, no. They're crazy neighbors. Now, this next part is gonna be a little bit of a pain in the ass because they're gonna be fighting this. So we can use more of the piercing mechanic now. I recommend smashing these things before you go to the door. Cause see, now you have more. And some more credits. And watch out for this one that's taken. Not only does it have money near it, but spoiler alert, that is gonna be a necromorph that's popping outside the sucker. 